Okay, what's up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels back with another unboxing. Um, today, this set is brand new. It is not even in stores yet that I have seen. The first time I saw this was actually looking for the Hot Wheels new box Fast and Furious set on eBay and it came across these and I thought they were awesome. And they're even more cooler when I got them today and seeing that there's a difference with these cars. So what these are, these are um, the four main character cars from the Fast and Furious Spy Racer series. So um, Hot, Hot Wheels has done the this one before, the Ion Motors Thresher, and I did an unboxing video of it. Here it is, it's an awesome main line. This is such a cool looking car. But there are a few differences in them, and I'm pumped about these because, let me bump this up a little. All of these cars have an action. So I don't know if you can see that exactly, but machine guns pop out of the front of this car um which is crazy sweet and this one has like the wings fold out almost like the jet threat 3.0 i think it is um and this one i was really pumped to see this one because in the cartoon this is awesome um it, this has an action as well and this one's harder to see it looks like the the front let me see the front pulls out like this thing pulls out, but we're gonna open them up today and see what they do and, and how they look. But I'm super excited about this because I have not seen these in store anywhere. So if you wanna see the back of the card, um, that's what it looks like. So it is a four car set. Like I said, I just got these off eBay. They came today. Um, so let's, let's bust into them. I'm gonna leave this one for last because this one's my favorite. So let's do the truck first. So this is the Rally Baja Crawler. Um, sorry for that noise again. Um, let's see here. Okay, so let's bust this open and see what it does. I'm gonna try to save the card because the cards have such great card art on them. Like they have the characters, the cars, so. Let's see here. Nice, so these are all first time castings. These are exclusive to the Fast and Furious Spy Racer series. They have not, like, you know, some of the Jurassic Park cars that uh, Matchbox did, they were Matchboxes they just put Jurassic Park on for the first series, but now um, these are all custom to the Fast and Furious. These are all exclusive to that series, so. Oh, cool, so it does do an action. The front bumper pulls in and out like, like a ramming action. It's not too exciting, but how often do you get moving parts on, I assume these are gonna be mainline price, like a dollar 50 or dollar or whatever they are. Um, even at $2 to have a licensed car with an action, that's pretty cool. So I like that. It's pretty easy to pull out. Not too bad. What was this called? I can't remember. Rally Baja Crawler. So that's a pretty cool truck. It's got good color combo. It looks like the truck in the show rolls well. Obviously, it's a main line. So let's do this next one, the Hyperfin. I don't know, if you haven't checked out the series yet, go check out the series, because it's pretty cool. It has like very Fast and Furious-ish um, storylines, like almost directly out of the movie, just changed a little bit for kids. So this is awesome, actually, Hyperfin. This is pretty cool. This, is, this looks like it would be really fast on a track. So this whole casting, some stuff is falling out. This is almost a full metal casting. The body is metal and the chassis is metal. The plastic is like the insert in it. So let's see what this one does. This one like the wings fold out, it looks like. Let's see. I don't know exactly how to do it. Let me see, hang on, before I mess it up, let's look at the card. So it says they fold back, almost like the um, Corgi, oh it does, like the Corgi um, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. Cool, look at that. The actual fins pop out. That is rad. I really like that these have actions on them. Very cool. And they're very smooth and it feels good quality like they won't break. Look, it says right and left on it. Hyperfin. Man, that's cool. I like that. Rolls very well. All right, on to the next one. Okay, this is, I'm going to try to say it right. A Santa Hado. This is a cool car because to me it looks like a mix between an Alpine and a like 280, 240Z. So I'm excited to pop this one open. Let's see here. Again, I'm really I'm in love with the card art. They, it's very like, if you're a kid, that would stick out to you amongst the regular dollar Hot Wheels, even though the dollar main lines have good um, card art too. So Santa Hato, very cool color. It's got like the rally lights in the front. This is a nice casting. 
It's got tail lights. So this one, the sides pop out. Let's see here. Okay, hang on, let me look at it. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it does say they pop out. I'm trying to figure out how. I don't know if you need to pull it down or what. You can definitely see this one's a little harder. Ah, oh, okay. So for some reason, it's one side or the other. So I don't, let me see. I guess, I don't know if they're guns or what they drop. You can see that, but you can see it pops out on this side. And then if you push it together, it goes in the center. And then you can push it to the other side too. So that, that action's cool that it comes out both sides. I'm not just... Not entirely sure what it is. I don't remember from watching the cartoon what it is, but I like that you can put it back in the center. Oh, this one's a little harder. If you're if you were a small kid, that would be tough to do. Um, but it looks just like a body ground effect. That's a cool car. I like that. Sweet. Okay, I'm excited for this one. Ion Motors Thresher. That's the Tony, the guy's name in the. Cartoon, that one I do remember, because he's the main character. I think it's Tony Toretto. Cool, let's pop this sucker out. Do a little comparison real quick. Oh man, this is awesome. So you can clearly see in the grill, it doesn't have the same, so here's the new one. Here's the old one. So the difference is, this one has like a clear hood scoop, and the other one has a black one. Um, you can definitely see the Difference in the grills. This one is closed with like the plastic chassis on the bottom. This one is open for the guns. Um, they both appear to be the same color, same wheels. Um, the tampos on the on the action one are actually a little more clear. And then here's the chassis. So that's where there's a big difference in them. The main line does not have the switch for the action that the carded ones does. And you can see on the exhaust too. This one has exhaust pipes that stick out. Let me see if I can get it in the focus there. Zoop. It is, so that one's the action one. This one doesn't have it and that's like the stock mainline version. So let's see what this action is. So just push the bottom. Let's see if I can. Oh, cool! Little machine guns, very James Bondish. That is cool. And you can see that the the plastic. So this whole base part is one piece. So when you push that tab in to make the machine guns come out of the front, the exhaust um, suck back in there too. So let's see if you push that back out. There's the exhaust pipes again. So once you do it a few times, that that action feel felt a little better. So. Oh, it's having trouble focusing. There it is. That is awesome. I really like that they took the main line and made it have an action. Like if we could just get that action in a main line, that would be sick. But I like those. It's a pretty cool car. Rolls well. So there they are, the new Fast and Furious Spy Racers um, Hot Wheels series. I assume these will be hitting stores sometime eventually. Um, here pretty soon is if they're on eBay they're probably somewhere in the United States I think these came from I think these came from Michigan actually um, but there they all are the I'm gonna go over the names one more time Ion Motors Thresher which is the same as the main line but it has the action now the Hyperfin with the fin action sure um, the Rally Baja Crawler with the front that pops out and then you have the Asanta Hado with the sides that pop out so it's pretty cool. Here's all four of them. I really like this set. If I find these in stores, if people don't gobble them up, I'm definitely going to buy more. They just, it's cool that they're Fast and Furious. It's cool that they all have actions. So if you're a Fast and Furious fan, definitely pick this up. So let me know in the comments if you have seen these at your local Walmart or Target or wherever they're going to be. I, I, it doesn't have any Walmart exclusive on it, but I'm, I don't know if they are or not. So be looking for them. It's a four car set, so cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to take these out and take some pictures, especially of the uh, Thresher here. So 
again, thanks for watching. I should have a lot more new stuff coming soon. Um, so like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.